Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm coming here today because I want to find some bits and pieces to work with because I'm doing a another journal and I've got a few bits of um, a few bits done here. Alright, I'll, I'll give you a look at this bit first. And I'm going to go and find myself some things to put with it. So, in previous times, with the shiny things on this nest, I put. I made these bits of um, these bits of work when I was working with some things that Roxanne was doing. Um, Roxanne's uh, changed the name of the channel now. I forgot what it was, but I've got all these bits here. See that we did because we were doing a. a, a, a snippet book thing and I really love it all but I've decided that I'm going to put them all into something else now okay because and that'll be this journal here which I haven't actually put together yet but I have a lot of stuff to to put in it and I'm going I'm just doing a bit more here and plus I need to find a few other things so on here I have a fabric this, this fabric on, I've printed on the fabric, okay, that one. Uh, not so much of those, they're not. This bird is, but I'm not a big fan of him going in. This lady is, and she probably will be in there. Um, I've made these, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make some little books. I might make them today, I've got to, to do those little books. There's another piece there. They've, it's actually been um, tags that I printed off from something that I've downloaded and look at these birds aren't they beautiful whether they'll go in it or not I don't know I, I laminated this lady I don't know whether I'll put her in there this is actually a copy of a card that I've got and so I've been that's the thing that I did other, last time I've been working on these bits and this is what I've done different um, to what I've had I've just been putting these pieces on here okay I put a butterfly on, I frilled that up because I do love that, that sort of thing, a bit of gold and some stitching. And on here, I did another sort of bit, but this is a this is a tea bag. So I'm putting a pocket in that tea bag, and that's going to have a pocket, and this has got a pocket here. And I've done stitching on this piece. And last night I did some um, pieces of, uh, these are rub-ons, but they're for fabric. So I did that one, and then I did this one, and I've also put a little bit of washi tape on it, which I actually glued down, but that bit there, obviously, I didn't, because it's waving about. And I've taken, cut a little tiny piece off one of the trims that I've got and put that there. So I've done a bit so far. I want to do these little books, um, and I want to look for some pieces to put. The books are going to have to be have paper inside, I reckon, don't you think? They're going to have to have paper inside. So what I did was I put, um, printed off something. And it's stuck into there. That's not supposed to be hanging out of that. Right um, so I printed off these bits and then I've just folded them over. I printed it onto fabric and then I just folded it over. So that's going to be a little journal to work in and so is that. And they're going to be really cool. And this one here, because it's there's still two, two together, I'm still going to take the backing off here, which you just do by taking that off. Which I, I bought the fabric a what, really long time ago, and going through the things that I've got, I found these things the other day, and I was really pleased about it, because I really want to make a nice book with a lot of stitching and stuff in it. I do. So it could be really a sewing idea of one. It's not easy to get apart as you can see that for a minute. So you don't have to worry about coming undone. And actually Santa Claus bought me some more of this uh, fabric so that's good because then I can use it to, to put more things on. Now this one because the little rose is facing that way I might either use this, might use it for a book, I don't know yet. Okay we'll see about that. Now I want to find some bits in here so, I've, so far I've got my butterflies and I've got that. Well, I've already put a butterfly on, haven't I? So, I've got um, these bits here that I really love to do things with because they're 
nice pretty and all this pretty pink and this bit here I used that on what I did yesterday I, made, I gathered that up to make the thing I've got some of this here that's from from millinery days and I don't know what it is but it's you know it's interesting but I, and I like it and I really wanted to put a variety of different things in whether I'll do greens or not I don't know I just I just happen to have my washi tape in there which I probably won't be using in there but I've got it there anyway and these bits here I do like for background bits okay so they can be something in that I can probably put those over there see what I've got in here well this is this is something that I did earlier too this is another piece that I've that I've made a bit of slow stitching um, that I really wanted to find some of this because I'm going to put that behind me little things that I'm doing um, there's another piece like I did the cover of the last book that I've got up there it's a nice piece of that I don't know if I need to have that one today um, maybe this I don't know this is a really good really old piece of um, it's not muslin it's oh dear you know <laughs> I used to have to write the name of this and put it up in front of me so I could remember what it was do you remember what it is I do, I do, I do. It's, it's in my head somewhere. Oh dear. Anyway, so I'm going to probably use a bit of that. <laughs> I'll leave that one there. Um, that there too. Make something. Oh dear. This is nice, isn't it? I can't remember what that is. You know, what is it? It's, it's <laughs> I wrote it on a piece of paper and hung it in front of myself so I wouldn't forget. Now these are good sizes for putting in the book. These are good sizes. And this love how this is gathered I love some gathered stuff it's good okay um, I'm looking to see where, where I can find I've only got a bit of that I don't know why I haven't got more of that there that's nice isn't it that can go in there so this is gonna look really awesome isn't it I, like, I really like that too but whether I'll go with that sort of thing or not I don't know well good there's one of those in a nice pale colour in a nice because I didn't really want to do white doilies I like this sort of stuff doily okay and I got some really nice yellow that is cool I do like that okay and we've got this bit here this is off a hanky this piece a really old one I I've collected up a real lot in the past but I haven't got and I really like this because I don't I don't know if I got any more somewhere I think I should have because I think I had a lot of that one time that we found at the thrift shop okay that's good I want that this pink's nice I might put the pink somewhere I like the blue that's off a set of things that I've got That'd be interesting to say, but there's a lot of sewing on that, isn't there? And this here, I need to find the rest of that, because I've got a lot of that too. This one here I bought off Timu, and I really, really like this, you know. it's I made some flowers out of it or something, and geez, it turned out good. And some tatting. Oh, look at that. Lots of tatting. Would you cut? Yeah, you would cut. There's a big hole in it anyway. There's a hole in it anyway. Oh, I've got a glove. Now, I'd really like to use these in something, but I don't know what. I suppose it'd go, you could put it on a cover of a, of a... It'd have to be a hard cover, wouldn't it? Like a hard cover book, I reckon. You could put it on the cover and put some stuff around on that. This is nice. Somebody's made these dear little pets of flowers. Look at them. Look at them, aren't they cool? Very well done. Very well done, they are. Yes, I do like that. I suppose it doesn't matter if I put other things in there as well as what I do. And there's another nice piece of um, a doily. And there's this piece here that I obviously started doing something with, but that's as far as I got. But look at me. That's all I got. That's what I've got so far. I wonder if that goes that way. Must have to be putting something on there. Okay, well, I can do that. Okay, so there's some good bits in that. I like the colour of this too. This is an awesome colour. I do like the colour of that. Okay, now, 
Well, I might leave that close by, I suppose, so I can just fish around in there if I need to put get something for um, some part of it. Uh, I'd like to make a couple more more bits soon, like to put in there. We're making like snippets. I guess they're like a little snippet, aren't they? Um, where have we got them in now? Let me see. These have got a lot of things on them. There's a lot of work on these, isn't there? A real lot of work on these. So maybe we might not put so much, I don't know. But see, the other thing too is I do not, I can't, I've started with these ones and I really like them and I need to make sure that these other lots going to go with it all right to make sure that it's, you know, and maybe they won't. Maybe it's not all going to go together. That's really cool. I could take the ideas off of that, couldn't I, and make something. Yeah, we could use it for ideas if I don't use it for the, for the thing itself. I could just use it for the ideas. So I've got some, um, I've got these bits here we might, might have a look at today. This is really nice too. That is really beautiful. And see, what the thing is too, you need to have this stuff around you. If you haven't got it, you can't see it, you can't, you know what I mean? <laughs> You don't know where it is because you just can't see it. So I might use these as a, a lot of them as an idea, you know. But look at that. I just, um, oh dear. <laughs> so I, I don't know if this is quite finished that bit. We might just do a couple this morning. Just do a couple. I want them to be um, too wide. That'll fit nice, won't it, on a page. I've got all my pages ready, but I haven't stitched them in yet. And I don't know whether to make this a tip-in or not. And that only just fits, and I didn't even have that cut out when I did this. <laughs> okay. We'll try something. This morning, I'll try something. Okay. Now, I've got a... Um, if you can't see it, you won't use it. <laughs> it's just how it is, isn't it? You can't see it. You don't think to use it, do you? Wait a minute, I had. Oh, yeah, these ones here. These bits of calico I've got. And then just for. <laughs> so I've got a bit more. <laughs> just in case I need something else. This has got too much stuff in this box, hasn't it? You reckon? I think so. I reckon there's too much stuff in this box. I'm going to have to get a bigger box. I don't think I could get less stuff. That's just not a not a thing. I'm going to use that in here. It's a bit heavy, but it doesn't matter. And this, this is nice. Look. Oh dear. Look at this goodies. Isn't this fun? Oh, there's me. There's me queen piece. Look, it's got a crown on it. Look. It's a crown piece of lace. Is that? Yeah. That's good. That's been wandering around through me stuff for years now. That has. I haven't even used it on anything because I just. I like it. I don't know if I will use it or anything. I might have a bit of this trim today. A little bit of this. You can watch me make some snippets or some or a book or something, okay? Maybe both. Depends how, how fast I work. There's a bit of ribbon that I was looking for that earlier. There's a bit of blue of that. So you've got, got a bit of everything in here, Sonia. We can work with. There's a bit of vintage lace. That is, that is really beautiful, that is, somebody gifted me this, it was on a card and I've taken it off and I should probably use a bit of that and some of this um, velvet ribbon that Valida gave me, sent me a long time ago, she had a big, big card piece full of it, there was, um, so there you go, alright, push that back in there, sorta, it'll stay there for a minute, stay there while I'm putting it there anyway. Okay, so now we'll do another one of these pages, eh? Oh, well, part that's going to go on the page anyway. Right? So I've got to be, it's got to be a bit thinner than this to fit, because that just fits, doesn't it? So this is too wide. I'll just cut a bit off that. I might just do a pocket today. What do you reckon? I'll just do a pocket. I'll cut up along this piece here that's been folded. Okay. And I've, yesterday I put a whole heap of paper, of small cut-off pieces of paper, 
because I said to myself, it's funny you need to put those there. Because <laughs> so you need them. And they are. And I think it was big enough. Where's my little book things? I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Like, <sighs> it's just typical, isn't it? I'm sure I had something that was a bit wider than that. I'm sure I did. Yeah, I'm just looking at something I don't think I'll ever do. Um, but then you don't know. Because we... No, I haven't got my cutting out thing either. I can use uh, scissors. I can use scissors. I don't have to be too fussy about it. Oh, well, I will, but I'm not. But I want to use scissors. I just need one page of paper. Any minute now, I'll come up with the idea. Nobody panic. Oh, here they are. Some of the bits I kept, at any rate. None of these are high enough. They're not. They're not they're really high enough. Right. Goodness me. But I am flitting from one thing to another now. Aren't I? Let's make this bit first here. I'll do this bit for the pocket first, and I only need it to be as wide as that piece that I had in my hand. Here it is. So I'm going to cut a bit off it. Because if I ever do it, then I won't, won't fit in the book, and then I won't be happy, will I? Right, now we need a, a nice idea for on here. I do love this fluffy thing. It's a little bit white. Put it in the middle. That's the way. Put it in the middle. There you go. We'll have that. There. Like that. Okay. We need a needle. I don't want to move my bead needle up there, I think. Out of the way. Need a needle. <coughs> Scissors. What did you do with the scissors? Here they are. They're not anywhere. They're here. This will be a flash pocket, won't it? Well, this is just the start of it. I mean, I'm not going to even test anything today. I'm just going to see how I go. <laughs> see how I go I'm making it. <coughs> well, I need a few pieces of paper for the little thing there. I'm always putting it aside, you know, pieces of paper in case I might need something to write on. And I don't know what I did with it. Can't be that far away from me, I don't think. So we'll thread this bloke up here. Oops. Oh, no. And stitch this on. I wasn't going to, I was going to just go straight in and do something embroidery, but I'm not going to because I'm going to take it down first so it doesn't move while I'm trying to do it. You over there, so you don't fall down. <clears throat> yeah, I think I might make all new ones for this book. Keep the others as a... Well, they're good to have for you know, interest and checking to see what you want to do next, I suppose. I wanted to, to do this in mostly pastel shades too, nice, nice pinks and creams and even pale blue if I can find something. That's there. Got that on. Okay, that wasn't hard, was it? Now, if you don't like it that long, you can trim it back. I'm thinking that, though. But I think it might, might leave it. I might just let it, you know, let it have its own way. I don't know. 
we can find something else to put on it, of course. And we have these beautiful little trims here as well. <laughs> this is rolled up in everything because I do tend to get carried away and stuff things in places where I shouldn't be. <laughs> if I pick up something and I decide to shove it somewhere and it'll fit the best, that bit's nice. Got some really nice pieces here. <laughs> I do have some really nice stuff, as you well know. I'm very lucky. It's taken a lot of saving up though, so there's a chair that put in me sticking books. Oh, there's another thing for me sticking book. <laughs> I think this butterfly might be too. There's another butterfly. How did that get out of there? Is this a different one? I don't think that come in the, in the ones that I bought the other day. I didn't remember taking any of them out of there. Mm, might have done. You never know, do you? You don't know what might have happened. Right. So therefore, that come to me. I don't need these. Do we? I don't need those. Right. <clears throat> Isn't it weird that that butterfly was there? Well, I've got that one and this one so far right so we've got those I and mean, that's got a butterfly it's the same butterfly somebody sent me that they must have done unless i got it somewhere and didn't know this is nice so this will be the top of the pocket so we're going to put it there i might find a little bit of a colored thread to put in that something Nice, some nice little colour. Nice little colour. I have got some gold. This is nice. A bit of gold on that. I've got two strands here. And that's good to be able to see it. I'm going to stitch it on with this. And then I'm going to trim that top bit there because it's not straight. I'm going to start over the edge here somewhat. Over the edge and I'm going to put a... I might do a feather stitch, eh? So you go back in there and that's got to come down there like that. Okay. There's one stitch. <laughs> Move over a bit. You probably would have put this on before the frilly bit, but it's still... Uh, it'll still be nice. Hang on to it, Sonia. Just hang in there. Hang on to it. Don't oh, scratch me. Oi. Oh, dear. Be really careful when you do things like that with the... With the um, what's the name in your hand? With this needle in your hand. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Ew. Oh dear. Oh, goodness me. Come on, you can do this. Don't let it get the better of you. It's not going to get the better of me. That's got to come through that way. Righto. I'm not taking that undone. No way. I like it. I'm just going to make it looser so it not pulling on there. You move out of me way so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can only really reckon that I'm going to wreck something every time I do this, wouldn't you? I think. You think every time I go out there, something would go wrong. I'm going to undo it back to there. I'm going to restart it again, oh, from that bit anyway. I'm doing it with the worst piece of thread possible, but <laughs> I just want to. Okay, now, here we go again, I hope. Is that right? No, it's too tight. Pull through. Okay, now, right -o. Nobody panic. It's okay. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it is all right, truly. Come on, you've got to be kidding. Get out, Get out from under there. I said to somebody the other day, when I make a mistake, I laugh. <laughs> Just <laughs> probably weird, isn't it? It's better than swearing and throwing it, I suppose. Because we've got to, got to fix it. you just got to fix it. You can't just let it beat you. All right. Never get anywhere if you kept giving up, would you? Would never get anywhere. That fan's making a racket, isn't it? I'm gonna be. I think it's gonna be 31 today here, and that's pretty good. I mean, that's not bad at all. You know, we're, we're sort of happy with that. I mean, when it gets to. Um, 40, we start to get, oh well, maybe 36, gets scary, air conditioner goes on when it gets to um, 30, you turn the air conditioner on, because you got to, you can't, you can't live in the, the heat, I don't know how people survive without air conditioning, I don't know if I told you there's a a distant cousin of mine, she since passed away, but she said she never had air conditioning. She lived in parks all her life and she never had air conditioning because she was very frugal, you know. And if she got too hot, she used to like go out and sleep on the kitchen floor. So that must have been the coolest place in the house. And I thought that was quite... I didn't think that was... <laughs> I didn't think I'd do that. I don't know whether I'm just well. There was there's ways of keeping cool, I suppose, and that was hers, I guess. She could afford not to do that, but you know, that's probably why she could afford not to do that because she was a frugal person. Oh, look at that! Isn't that that's jazzy, isn't it? Now what do we do to it? Okay, so I've got this nice brown rose here. Would I put that in there? Would I put a brown rose on this? I don't know. Is that my... Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? I'm having a terrible time with my eyes here this morning. Not good when you can't see through your eyes, is it? Hang on. That's a bit better. I like that one a bit better. I don't know whether I need all that... Hmm... What else can we put on here? We could put something across the middle. You know, I was making a dress or something, wouldn't you? <laughs> Why not? It's cool. It's fun, isn't it? Could we put that in the centre? Sit there. Stay there, please. I think so. I like this bit across the bottom too here. This is a nice piece of stuff, isn't it? It's a really thin bit. I don't know where I got it from. Probably one of my trips to one of the opportunity shops, I suppose. Um, yeah, I haven't been for a while to look at the stuff. I'm sort of trying to make wait till I get my leg feeling better, as well as myself. I didn't. I think it sort of makes you feel wrong or something. I don't know. I can't explain it. When you fall over, you know, it sort of makes you feel. I'm using a bit of scrap um, that I've got out of my, my little thread box there. I've got bits of thread in the box, so I'm just going to use a bit of that. Sort of pinky colour. It, it sort of knocks you about a bit, because I remember when I was laying down on the floor before I could get up, I was shaking really bad. I mean, couldn't hold, couldn't hold myself still, you know. So when you do have a fall, you don't feel really good, do you? It's not nice at all. Anyway, so we'll go along here with this. I have a little mannequin, a half-size one, I think he is, 
like scale down a half person and I haven't actually done anything with it yet but I really want to so hopefully when I get this room sorted out yet again but then there's so many other things that I want to be doing all the time too so I might get to making something for it it's under the sheet up there <laughs> sitting under there being good but see that's okay so it's my sewing machine sitting under there being good too you know because I just have got no room in here now because I've made another I always say never going to go do that again but because of my arm I haven't been able to move about very much and can't keep it tidy like I'd like to I think this is going to be pretty flash this book, I hope so it's good fun Ooh. Bit, a bit of slow stitching in your book now look what you've done, you've got it crooked I only have to go back a couple of stitches don't you let me see, where am I yeah, you only have to take it back two stitches and you can fix it better than looking at it and thinking I wish I had done that when I said I was going to use the other things for reference well so I don't really need to because I can just put stuff on here can't I just put bits on maybe I'll do all I had to put a flower or a button or something on. Some beads, maybe. Oh. I'm still doing it again. Goodness gracious. I wasn't, I didn't want to get a new bed by myself. Jeremy's going to have to have a bed and I'm going to have a new bed and I don't like that idea he's going to have a new bed and I'm going to have a new bed I'm going to stay in our bed <laughs> but if I don't and I've hurt myself more it might be good will it I'm going to have to just have a new bed anyway well it'll be one that will go up and down so I can have it up to get out of bed and put it down to get in the bed Okay, if you get what I mean, because I've got to have to have two things on it to make it go good. Okay, so that's too much if I put this on here too, isn't it? <laughs> I'll put that on the next one, eh? Um, piece of, a bit of a flower or something. I'm trying to steer away from that flower, I think, I don't know. What's this colour? It's white. No, I don't like that either. It's scaring me. This is nice. It's a little hard. I do like the hard. Actually, I quite like that one. It gives it, gives it something different. It's nice. What do you reckon? Should I try that? The thing is, I didn't want to go too many colours because I wanted to just put it... No, it's not good. No. I've got pink on these ones. I suppose I've got that gold bit on that. Oh no, it's not. There's a bit of yellow stuff under it. There you go. What about this? Nah. It's not working, is it? Okay. The blue one. That looks pretty. Looks pretty. I got a bow. A purple. Gee, there's everything now. Even that. That's cool. We could stick that on there too. We don't mind. I do like that little flower, little rose. Look at it, that little rose. <coughs> This is something I beaded before. Oh, look. I mean, bead the, you can bead lots of different things, can't you? You know, like I want to put, um, I 
beads on. Most things I find I feel like I need to put a bead on it. <laughs> you know me, I like a bead. Right -o. So I'm going to put this sticker on here. I really think I need the sticker. I do like this little flower. Does he look too lonely? I don't think so. Oh, that's pretty. And there's a bow as well. So it's space. Okay. Oh, I need some more of those little flowers. Here's another one. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we've got a little bunch of flowers. Okay, that's better. Now we need thread, please. <clears throat> I think I'll stick that on there. Or get another one like it. Um, out of one of my sticker things, which are not in here. Either one of them's not in here at the moment. Goodness me, I don't know, Sonia. <laughs> Can't have everything in here. It's too, too much stuff. I'll put those little flowers on there. They'd be a bit tricky to make, wouldn't they? But I could try some. See how I went. Put little flowers in the middle here. Do you really need three? I'm going to have to go looking for another one. I might have to put a piece of um, uh, card stock or something on the back of this so it won't, um, when you put something in it, it won't get caught on the, t the stitches in the back. Come on, you can do this. Put it, push it down there. Come on. There we go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm, my hand's in the way, but I can't do it without hanging onto it. <laughs> I cannot put it on there without hanging onto it. Our daughter came here last night for a visit for a minute. She was working in the taxi, so she went and picked us up some tea and dinner. People call it in different places tea in Australia. Some people call it tea. Young ones don't anymore. They don't. I need another flower. I could see something in here. These. They're too small though. Put that on there. Oh, look at the bow. <laughs> oh dear, that's flash, isn't it? I like it. I do like it though. Flash or not, it's all good. And that thing. Oh dear. I think it's going to be a nice journal. I really do. I've got me... Here we go. Here's another flower like that. There we go. Look at that. If you, have, if you fish far enough around, you'll find it. Alright. Maybe we should put the that a bit. Okay. No. Just put it in a circle. It'll look good. It's nice. Yes, little bird. Hope you're not one of them horrible ones that's chased away all the others. I think you might be screeching at things. That is, Jeremy said yesterday the dog was out the back and our dog is deaf now. She's pretty old, so she's deaf. I think she can hear some times. <laughs> I don't know. She's, but Jeremy worries about it too. Now he can't let her go out with him out the front because she runs away. And won't, he calls her and she can't even come back. So 
um, anyway, the dog, the, there was a bird out there yesterday, right in front of the dog, screaming at her. <laughs> She's just sitting there, <laughs> poor little thing. I don't know what she was thinking. She must have, you know, she wasn't obviously scared of the bird, but the bird's not scared of her either because they come down there and they get a little dinner. So Jeremy's got to make sure that she eats the food, you know, while, they, while the birds get it. Do I need a ticket on there? I do need a piece of something on it, but is it going to be that one? I suppose it can be. Can't see why not. I'm going to turn this off before it rings at me. It makes a... Oh, that's, no, 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 you're supposed to stop. It won't stop. I've got it. I wonder what that was, a piece of material. Okay. I don't think I've got another sticker. The only one I had here a while ago was one that had a fairy on it and I said I was going to put that in my, my book, didn't I? But I think it was only a fairy. I don't think I want a fairy on this. Because, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with using your, your bits and pieces, is there? It's a bit, a bit of... Um, That just blew in. <laughs> oh dear. Oh crikey. Anyway, these here I'm going to stitch around. This here I might leave like that for a little while till we see what else I want to put on it. Oh, there's a bit of cotton or a bit of something, something stuck on there. So they're looking good, these pieces together, aren't they? So that's three for three pages. And these are both two are pockets, and that other one can be a tuck spot. And this one here, I'm going to stitch around the outside of this, so you can. No, that's not going to go through there. Maybe the bead, but I'm not going to be able to put thread if it's, I'm using the bead needle. It will go through. Just made a hole. Look at that. I'm going to do with it. Here we go. Now. I might even put that bow on there. Oh, this is fun. I do like doing this. It's good fun, isn't it? That one, can you have that on there? Put as much stuff as you like. And these can be tuck, tuck spots, maybe. But I'm definitely going to sew around here. So I'm going to find something. I do want only a pale colour. I do want only want a pale colour. And I've just been sewing with really bright colours so it's not easy to, <laughs> to change your way is it but you can do you can do it um, I'm trying to get a bit of this string out of here well this is not pale um, what am I going to use that for I don't want to use that it's horrible to sew it's terrible for terrible stuff to sew with okay so I have this as well I will put in here too in my book. Uh, nice pinks. What's in this one? These are things that I was putting in the. Um, oh dear, that look at that. Okay. These were bits I collected up. I was going to put some of them in that on that piece that I'm working on. We're going to use a bit of this. Uh, I'll just get two minutes to stitch around here a bit. Two strands. Oh no, we've got three and three now, so we might as well go with that. you got to have all this stuff in front of you so you can play with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you do. So you know what you got. We need to see what we got. And I suppose I should have did this with a piece of um, crochet thread, but you know what? It's it's um, <coughs> it's time I use some more of this me cotton because it's all I've got. 
Do I, I'm just going to do stitches. I'm not going to do... Um, edge. Like... Um, so this is washi tape that I'm sewing through now too. And I'm going to might have to put something underneath this so you can use it for a tuck spot. The washi tape's glued to that fabric. I do want to do a few in, interactive things in it, you know, but, because I like, you know, to have that sort of stuff in there, but I don't know. See how we go. I've still, uh, I've still got my best journal I've ever made. I think I won my second best one. I think I sold the best one. And it's sitting up there because I really like it, but I can go to it if I need any sort of ideas. You know, I mean, I've got blue flowers on this, but that's okay because... Uh, I'm going to let me myself do that. <laughs> I don't want to be too many things, dark colours. Need something to finish the edge of these with, so that's why I'm putting this around here. can just sort of leave it flat, it doesn't, doesn't look right, eh? A little bit hard to sew this, this fabric, but it's okay, it's not, it's just because I suppose it is what it is for printing on that, so it's, but if you use your own, which I have on the calico on the freezer paper that that works really well put it through the printer carefully I only do it if you're sure you're going to make you get it right though if you iron your piece of fabric onto the freezer paper <laughs> you have to do it properly and I did a video on that and somebody had a very interesting comment on it so <laughs> that was it but see it's I was only it, she said it was like people was I was teaching people how to cut out straight. Well, yeah, in a way I was, because if you didn't cut it out properly, you're going to be very disappointed if you ended up with it, your printer in a big mess and, and you would wreck your printer because you'd get it all caught in it. It had to be... It was something that I insisted on saying, and this woman said it was... <laughs> the video wasn't any good because of that, but... And I didn't show that it worked... But it does, it really does. Lots of people have done it since, so they use a different sort of freezer paper, the one that one we, I use here, because the one I've got for something like you use for applique in, in patchwork and that. And that's where you buy it in the shop. A lot of people have said that you can get it from the supermarket, but I don't know if we could only get it from here at the park, so I've never seen it anywhere. But it's very good, this stuff. I've seen a lady do some really interesting things with it, so I might have to have a go at myself for some things that she was doing. i better stick this piece of washi tape down a bit better too. And I hope this hasn't taken very long because I need to turn this video off now so I can get myself organised and go and do the next thing. That'll probably be not a lot, because I've got... I have a break at making these too big in my this is something like the feel of this is like just like a canvasy sort of thing only it's very thin a thin canvas but that's good because it's gonna stay okay you know what I mean it's gonna be all right for a long time and that was a big stitch so I haven't actually stuck that down very good either have I where's my glue Put a bit under here because I didn't go right to the end. Oh dear, oh dear. That's what you get for cleaning your glue pots on you. It all went everywhere. But I had to clean it because it was driving me crazy and it took me ages. 
to get all the mess from out of it. I couldn't believe it was I couldn't believe there was any glue coming through there and all the amount of stuff that was in there. I wanna put some in that. If you muck around with it, you'll end up with a glue everywhere. Okay. That looks good. That's fine, it's not going anywhere. Need to make some more of these, aren't they nice? Satin out and make some more little padded hearts. Where's this? Move me needle. Oh, I pulled that undone, did I? Gracious me. Yeah, well, I'm going to stick a piece of um, paper on the back of this so I can. I'm not even going to do that knot. But I'll put paper on it so I can put a tuck spot behind here. Use it for a tuck spot. And I'll do it like that, it's nice. Okay, thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all have a good day and have fun doing your crafting. It's okay to put it all on the table, look at that. <laughs> if you don't have it there in front of you, you're not going to know, are you? You're not going to know what you got. <laughs> thank you for watching, talk to you later, bye bye.